Hey, the only good wasp is a dead wasp. Let me show you how to take care of them naturally. I don't know what the deal is this year, but the wasps seem to be everywhere. I don't know about you, but I'm a live and let live kind of guy, but when it comes to wasps, I don't know. They sting and they hurt, so I want them out of my life. Here are a couple of ways that will help you make sure there are no wasps around. First thing I want to show you is a repellent, which is really easy to make. All you need is a spray bottle like this. What's great about this recipe is it's all natural. It's water and peppermint oil. You see, wasps hate peppermint oil. So what you want to do, you just want to take one tablespoon of peppermint oil to four cups of water. Just like this. Add the water. You can spray this directly onto the wasp's nest. And you're like going, yeah, okay, when am I gonna do that? Because you don't want to get stung. Well, spray them when they're sort of drowsy or asleep. So spray them at night or in the very early morning. And what you'll find is that peppermint oil, by the way, this smells really good, peppermint oil will kill the larva, the eggs, and the adults. And they hate the aroma of this so badly that they will not return back to the nest. So think about that. Now let me show you how to make a wasp trap. All you need is a two liter bottle. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna invert the top of the two liter bottle like this. So let me show you, I've already started this one. You simply cut it, cut the top fifth off of it, like this, all the way around. Ta-da! And then this gets placed like this. And then you just simply take some duct tape. Who can live without duct tape? Just take some duct tape around the top, just like that, okay? Now, the idea is that you pour a liquid in here that attracts the wasp, they follow it down into here, and they can't get out, and they die floating around in whatever liquid you use. Now, I'm making a simple syrup, which is so simple, you'll always be able to remember this recipe. It's actually one cup of boiling water to one cup of sugar. And when this goes into solution, all you want to do is allow that to cool, and it will look like this. And then you simply pour it in to the wasp trap like that. You don't have to use it all up, that's plenty. You can also use beer. Yes, wasps are attracted to beer. But this you can make, keep in the refrigerator, crack the wasps and kill them there if they're flying around and bothering you. If you're finding these tips helpful, check in with us regularly. Make sure you subscribe to eHow Home. All right, going after these wasps.